What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be unboxing my brand new laptop. I literally just got home from Best Buy where I purchased it. And I'm finally happy to say that I have a new laptop. I had a Toshiba satellite, but it has been experiencing issues and some of the problems I've been having with it are, I'd be in the middle of editing a project or typing a Word document or something like that. And all of a sudden it would crash and turn off and then I'd have to end up turning it back on, finding out that anything that I was in the middle of working on, I just lost. Some cases were I'd be in the middle of editing a video and it'd be rendering, it would crash and then whenever I'd bring it back up, uh, it corrupted any video that I was working on. So I lost a few videos already. And since my laptop's seven years old, which is pretty good for laptops, so I've heard for it to last that long, but since it's seven years old, I have all of the pictures I've taken over the past seven years. I have every YouTube video since, at least since I rebranded, saved on my laptop and everything else, all of my thumbnails on my laptop, everything I've worked on basically for the last seven years is saved on my laptop. So before I end up losing everything, because it has a few more problems, it has the battery problem and turning off on its own and crashing at times. So instead of me risking losing everything i decided now since i have my great job it's time to spend a little money and upgrade to a new laptop so i went and purchased a hp model 17 which i looked into it and it has everything that i wanted on it it's a 17 inch so it's going to be a bigger screen than what i have i have a 15.6 inch for my toshiba satellites and so it's a little bit bigger screen one terabyte Everything I'm basically looking for in a laptop and I'm really excited to unbox this for you guys I'm gonna be unboxing it on camera and I looked at it in the store and it looked perfect It had everything I was looking for this laptop is regular 900 and it was on sale for 700 for what they call a Black Friday in summer sale that Best Buy was having in total with tax and I ended up getting a Microsoft office this is regular 170. They sold it to me because I purchased a laptop for 120. But in total, with this and tax and the laptop, it cost me $926, which is a lot more money than I was expecting to spend. But it's worth it. I needed one, and I didn't want to risk losing anything on my laptop because I have so much stuff, so much stuff saved on my laptop. Every day it just became a bigger and bigger risk to lose it all. So now I'm going to basically unbox this laptop, my new laptop on camera, and I'm super excited to share this with you. Let's just get started. Okay, so here it is here, my new HP Model 17 laptop. I'm really impressed with it. I did look at it in the store. They didn't have one on display, so I had them open this one up, but I'm still going to be unboxing it on camera for you guys. So let's open it up here and check it out. Here's my laptop. And before I do that, I'm gonna open up the power supply because that's one thing I did yet to look at. So, okay, so here's the charger for my laptop. Pretty standard, I would assume. Um, questions about the product sheets. Um, I think I just shared this, but I bought this as 120, regular 170. So that's gonna help. And now on to the laptop itself. I actually like these uh, foam ends. They might be useful to save, to be able to prop up your laptop, to be able to uh, allow more airflow underneath. I'll have to look to see if it's worth uh, keeping them. But here is my laptop. Silver, just what I was looking for. Um, best thing about it is it has multiple USB ports, which I'm happy for that. It is way thinner than my last one, which I'm happy for, but it does include the CD drive, which as you guys seen on this channel, I do have a CD collection. I love listening to music. So there's a good possibility I'll have to transfer all of that music back onto this one if I can't take it off my old laptop and put it onto here. But let me just open it up for you guys to see. So that's my new laptop. I'm really impressed with it. 17 inch wider screen. That's going to help me with my editing. It's just a little bit bigger. So 
Um, also, I watch TV on my laptop, I watch Netflix, I watch YouTube videos, so a bigger screen is definitely a plus for me. It's not what I was looking for, but I'm happy that it is a 17 inch, uh, one terabytes, 12 gigabytes of RAM, um, everything basically I was looking for internal, and I'm really happy with what I purchased. I wasn't expecting to buy this one, but whenever I seen it was on sale, even though I did end up paying $926 when it was on sale for $700, that's because of tax and because I got Microsoft Office, so it's everything that I needed. So basically now I'm going to be looking for a software to edit videos, a software to record screen capture. I have a lot of programs on my laptop, which I'm going to see if I can uh, transfer over or at least re-download on here. But the biggest one, which is the main thing that I use, is Movie Maker to edit my videos. Movie, Movie Maker doesn't exist anymore. They discontinued that. So I'm going to have to see if there's something... Uh, equivalent of Movie Maker that I can edit videos on. I do have a couple programs that I use. I just haven't learned them too much. I haven't dove into them yet and tried to edit videos. So it's going to take some time for me to edit my videos moving forward, especially um, Try Not to Laughs and things like that on Movie Maker. Things of that nature were easy to edit. Things like this video and other ones might be harder until I learn how to use them on new programming. But I'm definitely impressed with this. Of course, I have to transfer all my stuff off my old laptop onto this one still, which is going to take some time because I have about 150 videos for my YouTube videos, let's say. At least maybe even more. And for me to transfer them over, they're averaging about one gigabyte. So that's like saying 150 gigabytes from my old laptop to this one. That's going to take some time. Plus, all of my thumbnails that I've ever created are on my laptop. All the web addresses, I'll be able to write them down and sign into them because I have, I think for the most part, I remember most of my passwords because I keep them most of the time the same. But it's definitely going to be something that takes a little bit of time to do. But I'm definitely impressed with it. Even the keyboard layout is pretty simple. Of course, you can't see because it's too dark, but it's an improvement of my laptop, um, how it's set up. So that's what I enjoy. It does look interesting. I can't wait to go through and see what all is included. I know buying a new laptop, you should go through and wipe off some of the programming that's clog it up. An issue I had with my laptop a couple months after I bought it, it basically went black screen and you couldn't use it. Took it into a computer specialist and he couldn't figure out the problem. So all he did was wipe it off, uh, delete a lot of the programs that are unnecessary and it all of a sudden worked. So before I have that issue again, I'm going to basically do that to this laptop here. Of course, back it up, transfer all my stuff over. So it's going to take some time, but hopefully within a couple days, I'm going to be using solely my new laptop and I'm either going to sell my laptop or piece it out and sell it for parts because I know the fan is still good on it. The hard drive is still good on it. It's just, there's something with the motherboard whenever I'm typing or using this area, or even on my old laptop, my Toshiba satellite, if I put too much pressure down by the mouse pad, it turns off and I'm very gentle with my laptop. I don't aggress, I'm not aggressive with it. So there's definitely an issue maybe with the motherboard where if you touch a certain area that's sensitive, it just shorts out and turns off the laptop for safety measures. But I'm definitely happy that I upgraded to this laptop. It's definitely gonna be used appropriately and I can't wait to get started. The only thing is I work nights as I've shared before and now that I'm off for three days that's why I decided to buy this I'm off tomorrow as well so I'll hopefully set it up and start transferring stuff over but then I work five days straight again so it might not be until next week that I'll be able to actually dive into it and see all of the cool features on this um, definitely gonna be interesting going from Windows 8.1 to Windows 10 because I've been using Windows 8 for years since I got this laptop, which I got used to it and I enjoyed it, but people complained so they wanted it back to the old style, so that's what Windows 10 is. So it's going to take me time to learn Windows 10 again, but I honestly can't wait. So honestly, I'm really happy with getting this new laptop. To me, I think it looks great. I'm definitely happy with it. There wasn't really much for me to unbox in this video, uh, other than sharing some of the features and some of the... Uh, stuff that's in the laptop. The fact that as a CD drive was a bonus, I know you can get an external one where you plug it in with the USB port, which is something, it was an option I was looking at, but the fact that it included one, I might as well go with that. It has all the other features I was looking for. The price was okay. I ended up spending 926 with tax and everything, but 
to me, it's well worth it. I needed a new laptop, so I'm happy with what I got. So I hope you guys did enjoy this unboxing video. I can't wait to get started with my new laptop and start editing new videos for you guys. But I'm going to leave this video here. Hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, hopefully in the future, I will have some more tech videos on my channel. So stay tuned for that. But I'm going to be leaving this video here. Please take care. Peace.